Hey, what's going on everybody? This is your boy Phil here and today is September 12, 2012 and today was the day that the iPhone 5 was announced. Uh, same with a bunch of other features that you know that's coming with. Um, iOS 6 was actually announced like a month ago or something like that. Um, and you know the iPod Touch and the iPod Nano were revamped so I'm just going to give you um, some of those details that came out and whatnot. So uh, let's start off with the iPhone 5 since it's like the biggest thing that was announced. Um, so it's going to come with a 4 inch display. Um, it's going to keep the retina display. So, you know, it's going to be like one of the most crystal clear screens out there compared to all the other phones, you know. Uh, the retina display is going to be 1136 by 640, which is going to be 326 pixels per inch. They're going to come in two colors, black and white. Uh, let's see, the going to be 18% thinner um, than the 4S and this is the 4S right here which is I don't know pretty thin as it is but I know there's thinner phones out there um, it's going to be 20% lighter than the 4S it's going to come with the A6 CPU like a dual core chip or whatever um, it's going to be running um, CDMA and LTE so it's going to be pretty fast for like Verizon and AT&T and Sprint still sucks I use it right now and Sprint's just horrible but unlimited data, which is pretty cool. The camera is going to be an 8 megapixel sensor, uh, 3264 by 2448. Uh, it's going to have backside illumination, hybrid IR filter, five element lens, and an aperture of f 2.4. Um, it's going to it's going to have like a panorama mode, which is pretty cool, you know, built in. But that's nothing, you know, new. I know there's other applications that can already do that. Um, it's going to have a dynamic low light mode, precision lens alignment, and sapphire crystal, which I have no idea what that means or is, but it has to do with the lens, I guess, or something. And it's going to be 40% faster than the 4S. And it says that's going to have zero lag shutter or shutter lag or whatever, which is pretty cool, but I don't know. We'll see if that's true or not when it comes out. And you could take pictures while recording, which is nothing new, but that's still pretty cool. It's going to have a 1080p front-facing camera. This one right here, I don't know what the specs is for the 4S, but that's pretty cool. The video playback is going to be on like a widescreen, so you're not going to have any more letterboxing. Um, like those black bars on the top and bottom of your videos when you're playing it in, um, you know, like the lands... I don't know what it's called, whatever, the sideways mode. You're going to be able to FaceTime over your network now, so you're not going to need Wi-Fi. You could FaceTime wherever you want, which is pretty cool. Um, because, you know, there's times where I want to FaceTime some of my friends or, you know, my family members, but, you know, they don't have Wi-Fi or I won't have Wi-Fi at the, at the moment, so that's pretty cool. And we're going to get to the battery life right now, so the talk time over 3G is going to be 8 hours, uh, the browsing time over uh, 3G is going to be 8 hours, um, over LTE it's going to be 8 hours, over Wi-Fi it's going to be 10 hours. Video playback is going to be 10 hours, music is going to be 40 hours, and standby is going to be 225 hours. And uh, on the design of the new of the new iPhone, it's not going to have this little, uh, you know, dock connector thing down here anymore. It's going to have like a smaller one. Uh, they're, they're calling it the lightning dock connector. Um, it's supposed to be, like you know, like a lot faster than the original one right here. Um, but it, it sucks for people who have, um, you know, how, who already have the docks or you know the uh, stereo systems or whatever because now you have to buy an adapter that's like 30 bucks to play your iPhone 5 on you know all those different um, accessory things so uh, it's just it's just a hassle that you know I don't know they're trying to make money so I would do the same thing and coming with the iPhone 5 the iPod touch and the new iPod Nano but those I'm gonna get to in a moment um, our new earbuds, which, you know, let me see if I could get, I'm gonna get my other ones real quick. These are the earphones or earbuds that, you know, uh, come with the iPhone and iPods and everything right now. Um, but there's gonna be some new ones that are coming with the iPhone 5, which look pretty, pretty cool, but they, they look alien-like. So be careful with that because aliens might be taking over. And the iPhone 5 is gonna be available on AT&T, Verizon, and Sprint. Uh, sorry T-Mobile, but you're just not good enough. Now for the pricing of the iPhone 5, so it's going to come out to $199 for the 16 gig, uh, $299 for the 32 gig, and the 64 gig is going to be $399, which were the same prices as the 4S, but the 4S now is going to be available for $100, um, you know, on a two-year agreement, and the iPhone 4 is going to be free. And you're going to be able to pre-order, 
your iPhone 5 September 14th, which is this Friday coming up. Um, and then it's going to be available everywhere else uh, September 21st, which is next Friday. Now we're going to talk about iOS 6, which is the operating system on the iPhone, which is going to be available on the 19th. Um, so I guess it has 200 new features, um, including a new Maps feature, which they're getting rid of Google Maps, and they're you know they have their own um, Apple has their own mapping system. And there's this new feature called Passbook, where you could buy sports tickets, movie tickets, uh, you know airline tickets ticket tickets I don't know just anything you could you could just get a lot of stuff on there and it's gonna be pretty convenient so that's pretty cool and I guess Facebook is now integrated you know as well as Twitter so that's gonna be pretty awesome so Facebook that was only about like five of the 200 new features coming up uh, I'm not gonna go over all of them because I don't know all of them so deal with it and now we're gonna talk about the new iPod touch and the new iPod touch is pretty cool I saw uh, some pictures of it and I'll, I'll put a bunch of pictures and everything of you know everything I got this all from ngadget.com so yeah I'll put that link in the description so you can check out all that stuff um, but the new iPod touch has a pretty cool design I actually like that design more than the iPhones is that is that wrong of me it's gonna come in different it's gonna come in five different colors black white blue green and pink was that five? Black, white, blue, green, pink. It's gonna have a four inch retina display, which is gonna be the same display as the iPhone 5. Uh, it's gonna have the same camera, basically, as the iPhone 5, but the iPod Touch now has the flash, which is cool. Um, and it's gonna come with the new earbuds. And it's only gonna be coming in a 32 gig version and a 64 gig version, which, you know, I don't mind because, you know, the more memory, the better. And now we're gonna get to the iPod Nano, which the design of this was actually one of my favorites because you know coming from the old design which was the little cube touchscreen thing that was stupid but uh this one it's a little just imagine the cube version but just stretched out so uh it's gonna be touchscreen it's gonna have a 2.5 inch multi-touch display uh its height is gonna be 3.01 inches with 1.56 inches and it's gonna weigh 1.1 ounces uh, it's gonna come only in a 16 gigabyte version uh it's gonna be 640 by 432 pixel resolution, which is 202 pixels per inch. It's gonna have some cool Bluetooth features. The Nike built-in fitness thing has always been like a key feature of the iPod Nanos. It's gonna have the same lightning, you know, cable adapter thing that, you know, comes with the iPhone 5 and the iPod Touch. And the pricing for the iPod Nano is gonna be 149 And the iPod Classic and the Shuffle are getting no changes, which, you know, the Shuffle, it doesn't really need a change. It should stay the same always. Uh, the classic, I think they should have just bumped it up to 250 gigs. Right now it's at 160, but uh, that would have been pretty cool. You know, have all that memory. And iTunes is going to be updated also for uh, PC and Mac, um, as well as, you know, iOS, which is going to be pretty cool. And the App Store is going to be updated, so look forward to that. And that's basically my recap of, you know, the whole iPhone 5 announcement and the iPod Touch and iPod Nano stuff. So uh, if I missed anything, there'll be links in for everything in the description, so go check that out. Uh, subscribe to my channel. I put podcasts up every Tuesday with my buddy Sam, and they're pretty awesome. We talk about news, movies, music, movies, and movies, so go check that out. Yeah, and tell me what you think about the iPhone 5 and the new iPods and stuff, and iOS 6, and you know if you're going to be buying any of those items or using any of those features or updating anything. I know I'm going to update my iPhone 4S to iOS 6 when it comes out. And thanks for watching, guys. Phil's signing out. Philly Flows. New Philly Flows coming soon. If you don't know what Philly Flows are, check out my channel and look at all the other videos. If you like hip-hop, you'll enjoy it because I rap. You know, like, like 2 chains. I rap like him. 2 chains. Alright, guys. See ya.